Well, we're parked up for the night um, using Britstock's book. Uh, we're in a, a pub car park, the U Tree, oh, it's uh, hotly. But we thought we'd take the opportunity um, before we get too untidy inside to do a bit of a van tour. So, are you going to guide us around, Bella? I'll do my best. So, come in. So, we've got the old step. Then in the front it's just a normal cab, but what we have done is we've had a little table, we've made a little table here with a couple of recess bits so that when we're driving along we can put cups in so it acts as a cup holder. So it's just on one of these poles, the normal table poles that we've cut down um, and it's quite sturdy. It doesn't look very sturdy at the moment but it is when we're driving, um, that's fine. So the rest of it's just a normal cab. We've got a curtain that comes across. Yeah, I'll show you that now actually. Usually the seat will be a bit forward. This seat does swivel, uh, so we can use the table as well. But the table, the curtain comes across. Just to say the seat will go forward a bit. So that shuts us off at night. Got a table here. Again, normal table, but we've used the same wood. What is it? I can't remember. Beach. Beach wood that we've used on the work surfaces on the sink top here. So then underneath here, this is a caravan seat that we got. Um, and the back, three separate cushions. We've just used this to cover them because it cushions do need recovering really. But they lift up, we've got all the storage underneath, the storage here, the we've put a vent in here for the diesel heater, so we get heat here. And that turns it's directional as well. This side where I'm sat is where all the electrics are. We've got the leisure battery and the actual heater mechanism. No, not mechanism. Yeah, the, it's the, the diesel heater. The diesel heater is here as well, so that's all there. Then as you come in, we've got the bed, which you saw Fixed. in early videos being made. Um, Fixed bed. And then under the bed, on this side anyway, we have got a pantry. So quite a lot of food we've managed to get in there and bits and pieces. So we're not going to starve. We do need to do something with this door, it's a little bit swollen but it's doing the job. Here we've kept the uh, overhead lockers. And what we've found with the lockers is that on this side we're carrying our clothes so it saves us having to, to pack bags so it's a lot easier than having to rummage through bags we know where everything is on that side another locker we have got bits and pieces we keep the plates up there and the cups and glasses and other bits and pieces as well this is one thing Keith laughs at this is my uh, string vest string vest it's my uh, tribute to sailing videos uh, that we watch on on YouTube and it's a better way of storing fruit and veg because it actually stops them rotting too quickly or going off too quickly. So, so there's a the bed, the blinds, we've, we've put the backboard in. For the moment, we wanted some storage at night because we both read Kindles. So we wanted some storage at night. We've not been able to find anything suitable yet. So all we've done at the moment is cut a cardboard box. So we can drop the Kindles in there, we can drop the phones in there at night. Uh, then coming here, we've got our most expensive item, I think, does lock, <laughs> is the fridge. It's a 12 volt fridge, um, and it's keeping things nice and cold. It's got a little freezer compartment there. It's, uh, on this side, we've got the hob, the gas hob, and the sink, the tap. Oh, I forgot to mention that in the cupboard we've actually got a switch, so we can switch the pump off as well. So then under here, under the hob, we've got the drawer, which comes out quite a way. It's quite deep, so that's got all the cutlery and stuff like that in there. And underneath, more storage, bits and pieces, pans. 
got a washing up bowl and stuff under there and then on this side we've got the bin we've got wastewater here which is easy enough to pull out and that's it a little bit more storage and stuff put away Keith's idea which we used was to use these monkey knots as uh, cupboard door hand and draw handles or pulls and they're working really well and the doors on the uh, cupboards are uh, secured by magnets so we, we looked at lots of ways of securing things and we thought they looked better than anything else to be honest because um, we didn't want anything on show we, we wanted a real rustic look and we didn't want too much on show so the curtains are made well they're the bee pattern because we kept a bit of a bee theme with being beekeepers and having the honey shop we wanted to do something a bit more rustic as well so we've used copper piping for curtain rails and we've also tied that in managed to get hold of a, a towel a paper towel holder as well which is copper and also we made a towel rail copper towel rail here just using the Munsons again uh, just to hold the tea towel uh, lights we've got the main lights here which still run off the battery uh, off the main battery so uh, we're going to look at that in the future then the lights here we've got these all run off the leisure battery we've got LEDs in every window so there's one two three four five LEDs for five windows Six even. Six even. Oh yeah, six, sorry. Six. No, five, you're right. Yeah, five, right. Yeah. And then we've got the lights up there. I've not got a remote control with me at the moment, but uh, we've got the lights there that change different colours as well. So we can have a disco or we can just have some mood lighting. And then the vents are for the air conditioning, which again at the moment, they run, that runs off the uh, main battery. So we're going to look at some point in the future either running them off the leisure battery or getting another little I've got the sun in my eyes or another leisure battery um, depending on how it works and how the power gets drained um, carpet tiles they were the biggest bargain because they were free so we toyed with lots of ideas on what to do for cut for the floor uh, at one point we we're just gonna leave it as the ambulance floor but it was a bit grubby and horrible then we bought a carpet and decided that wouldn't work so we went for carpet tiles and a friend of ours offered us these and they they work perfectly the right color they blend in or actually show the woodwork off quite nicely as well and then just got a couple of little well we had these anyway these little racks which we managed to put all the spices in and, and the salt and pepper and other condiments and stuff so. and the latest buy from a charity shop yeah. cafetiere so obviously we've gone still got its uh, price tag on it we've gone for the copper theme as well with the kettle and the bee theme with the mugs so we are trying to coordinate coordinate a little bit the back we still don't know what we're going to do with the backboard whether we're going to leave it like that um, we've not really got much idea yet we're just going to wait what? and see what happens with that the other side of it which we'll show you now is still the same it's, it's exactly the same color but we are going to varnish that we think because that's where the shower is so come around to the garage quite full obviously because we are away so, gas locker and loads of storage here most of the stuff in crates which is working really well We've also got a light, um, so if it's going dark or it's a dull day or whatever we can see. Over in that corner is the water barrel. I don't know whether you can see that in this probably light. not be able to see. Here, we've got a cigarette lighter socket, and that's going to be used because we've got a, a 12 volt shower, and the shower's going to be out here. So it's just now, we're toyed with having an inside shower, but for the amount of times you use it, which is once or twice a day, we thought about the amount of room it took. It just wasn't really for us. So we've got the outside shower. We have come a bit of a cropper with a shower curtain yet. We've got one that's uh, not wide enough. So we've got to 
I think well I've found some wider wider curtains now uh, we've just got to measure it and then work out how we're going to get a shower curtain across how we're going to fasten it and then work it from there the, the shower works on a pump so it's it basically you drop it into a bucket and it pumps the water through so we've got a one of the big round plastic tubs that we can stand in so it can recycle the water a little bit as well we're looking so. to uh, varnish this is going to have board. this is obviously the other side of the bed we're going to varnish this just in case it gets splashed when we are having a shower um, and possibly some decoration maybe a map on there or something like that we don't know yet but that's that um say crates just slide in and out it really nice easily so we've got loads of storage in there we've got our stuff dog stuff wet weather old, gear, wet weather gear. <laughs> we've got the hooks here as well so if it's been raining hard we don't have to have dripping coats in the actual main cabin we can uh, we can hang them here to drip which is quite handy the gas system is a gas gas system so a lpg so we've got a filler cap there that uh, you might have seen in a previous video goes through into the gas bottle in the cabinet um, we have also got a, a gas tap to switch it off in the main cabin yeah so we can switch off there as well um, as we said in the previous video 11 kilogram gas bottle for empty it cost us 11 uh, 12 pounds 50 to fill up so that's not bad and seeing that all we're using it for at the moment is cooking it should last us a heck of a long time so the windows we had tinted by a company in nottingham we did think about doing it ourselves we bought all the stuff but uh, we decided that it might be better just to have it done professionally and then and we've got a solar cell that we had put on the, the solar roof panel well. top, we'll which is top. Uh, how, how what what is that? Or that's um, 110, 110 it? watt. So at the moment that's powering everything. We've we've had it on all the time. We've had the fridge on for a few weeks at home, and it's not been a problem at all. So and we've got a sticker, a camper van tail sticker. So that's the van. That's. Let's say we've uh, got some blocks so that we can level up. We've had a few nights in different camper vans where we've, we've not used trucks, we've never had them before. So it's nice to be level for once. And the front is a bit of a mess at the moment because we've been travelling. So it's just your usual, as I said, cabin front. And we've got only got the um, Passenger seat as a swivel yeah, uh, at the moment uh, because can... the driver's seat we found it was blocked by the the handbrake. I don't know where you can see there, uh, so it couldn't swivel. So we, we took that opportunity to um, board, have boarding. Um, it's not fully swivelled up uh, on the end of the settee. Uh, you can see the, the seat will swivel. So the seat yeah. swivels and uh, you can use the table from there as well. So that's about... And we've got a bit of book around. storage there for different guidebooks and maps and stuff like that. And we have got the fan which we didn't mention. Yes, yeah, one of the other original features, um, I don't know I'm going to get this in, was the fan, extractor fan or it blows in or out. Um, on the, the control panel there, as is the, the diesel heater control panel. And we've got speakers that work throughout the cab. Again, they are original, um, so saved a lot of hassle keeping these features and also the, uh, the um, fiberglass cl cladding. So We wanted to keep some of the original stuff just to show that it was an ambulance and just to prove it of the heritage really. So things like some of the signs, um, the pole to get in and out. Yeah, handy as we get older anyway. And the running stand you know, holding rail as well across the roof, uh, ceiling. One thing we have added, um, which really for our safety as much as anything, is a carbon monoxide 
monitor. So just an alarm. I think that'll wake us up if there's a problem. What we have got on the roof is the solar panel. Solar panel. It's 110 uh, watts. It's a thin flexible panel, um, MIPV I think they're called, which is uh, quite modern um, technology. Uh, but, uh, so that comes down through an existing hole in the roof to a control panel which is mounted behind the driver's seat. Uh, I think I think it was for its landing speed and not uh, And then it comes back down <laughs> to the lake of battery which is under the seat. Oh isn't it warm? One thing we said that we weren't doing is putting 240 volt hookup. When we bought the uh, van it already had the external socket here. Um, but rather than putting 240 all the way through the van, which we decided we didn't really need. All I've done, or all we've done, is put a, a socket here. Um, so basically, it's just an extension from the extra outside socket to one inside. And we've got a, um, a camping uh, box, electric box. So that's all got all the trips and the uh, um, breakers in. in. Um, and this is just an extension to it, so we don't have to run the lead through an open window if we do get on the campsite where we got hook up. So we, we checked it out, see whether we could, it needed any fuses or um, anything in between, but because it's just an extension lead, and the ex this will go to the external hook up at the campsite, and this is going through to a, um, a, a fused uh, trip box which has been specially you know it is for camping use there was no real need for anything extra um, so that's just a little extra that we've uh, added the reason we went against putting 240 volts in was a the regulations um, when you come to sell a vehicle it's all got to be checked out and uh, certified and B the only thing that really needs it is the automatic lighting on the the uh, gas hob so it wasn't really worth the effort we found a, a car charger for the laptop so that runs off the, uh, the leisure battery or will run off the leisure battery when we need to uh, charge the, the, the laptop and basically that was all it was there for so there was no real need for 240 volts Welcome to Campervan Tales Ambulance. We're on the road. Campbell. And now it's time for that brew. It's got to be made yet. Again, thanks for watching. Uh, some of you have been with us right from the beginning, so really do appreciate that. Uh, if you're new and you've just found us, please do subscribe and watch us. Click on the like button if you like what we've done. If you don't like something we've done, then tell us. So we might be able to improve. Uh, any suggestions on places to go? Um, we're actually here in the Yorkshire Dales. There's a suggestion that one of our subscribers said we might like. So it was for the first trip, wasn't it? it well, it's first trip out, yeah. So we wanted to do something different. We, we wanted to go somewhere we didn't really know, uh, which is why we asked for suggestions. And if you want to keep watching, then uh, if you click on the little bell, then you'll get notifications every time that we upload a new video and at the moment they're going to be coming thick and fast while we're on this trip hopefully. well hopefully if we get signal but that's it for now i think you've seen it all um thanks for watching and we'll see you soon